Welcome back to Heads Comp. You're in a good mood. Yep. Why? Clock's going. Why, well, why has that agitated you? It's not agitating me. You're agitated though? Yeah, I am, but it's not. But why are you agitated? I don't know. Don't know. We'll, we'll get it out. We'll, we'll get there in a bit. I am agitated. No, cause got, I'm pretty happy with that. I reckon that's put me... There's been a swing with this and I'm really in a good mood now. Well, you, well you're in a terrible mood. So... God knows what you was like. What, about, this about an hour ago? Yeah. So news has just dropped. Jurgen Klopp's said bye. First, Breaking news. First, what do you think? What, what are your thoughts on it, him announcing it like mid season? Two things. One, have you seen the video? Yeah. Weird. It says yeah. a lot without saying anything. What's weird? Well, the, the, the way the he's. The jumper. No, it's just what? a weird video. It's a weird vibe. He just waffles without saying anything. Because he's lying. I don't know if he's lying. He'd be mad if he was. Well, he's like, psych. Yeah. <laughs> I'd prefer that. <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't think that's what's happening. Um, so here's what some of the stuff he says. I'm leaving the club at the end of the season. So we got like five or six lines out of what was like a five minute video because okay. it was just waffle. He said, I'm leaving the club at the end of the season. I can understand it's a shock for a lot of people in this moment. I love everything about the club. I'm convinced it's the decision I have to take. I'm running out of energy. I have no problem now, but I can't do the job again and again and again and again. Jonathan bored. Pierce, I think it is. Stinks to say. He might as well have said I'm bored. Maybe. John, there's a Liverpool judge, I think it's Jonathan Pierce, uh, I just got a quote from him where he says, I'll never manage another club in England. And I don't know if I'm ever going to manage again. But the way he was like, he phrases like, I'm definitely never going to manage in England. So he's definitely managing somewhere else. The door was absolutely left open. So, where is he going? I just found it weird that it, like, I, I didn't mind the video, the bit that we saw, to be honest. Um, I found the timing weird, but then it did say he, I did read, I don't know how true it is, that he, he had let them know in November. Right. Already said the club knew. Um, and weird that they have actually took a bit of an uptick in form since the club knew. But I don't know if the players knew. I don't. I don't know how true that is. I just read that. Um, I just found it just such a weird, like what on a Friday morning you just drop that bombshell. Fergie announced his first retirement in around about this time of year, and United just fell off a cliff. Well, that's that's. Is it? Did he do it now? Did he do it now because people had found out and he just wanted to get ahead of it? and be the first one to announce it. What, so or, they got wind one of the papers had it or something? Maybe. Like, get in front of it. Yeah. Or did he, has he done it now to kind of give his players a chance to give him a good send-off last season? But when Fergie did it, he did it after we'd won the league in his last season. Kept it strum until we won the league. I'm pretty sure that's how it went down. I don't know. Weird. Breaking news. Breaking Jürgen. news? We don't usually get breaking news. That's not usually our bag. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, especially like later on in the week like this. this that's why it's so weird. It's so weird. Very weird. It felt just so weird. Everything about it was just like, he's just come out and gone out. Oh, oh. And he didn't really give a reason. He gave like 10. Exactly. But none yeah. at the same time. That's when it was two and a half minutes of waffle. So where's he going then? I, I can see two quite obvious spots. Obviously, the obvious one everyone's going to look at is Saudi. That wasn't one of mine. Okay, it's not obvious then, is it? <laughs> Go on then. Germany, national team, because then you can say it's less energetic than oh, yeah, club management. Oh yeah, good shout, yeah. That works. And I don't know why, I've always had a, a thing that where I link him to Real Madrid. And Ancelotti's mm. definitely going soon. Possibly. They're the only two that I could see making sense. It wouldn't shock me anyone going Saudi in all honesty. Uh, I don't know, but like going off just last week where we had a real good idea and everyone was mad with us. Did you see that? Which bit? Just the Mourinho to England. Oh, right. Which yeah. made complete sense and everyone went, oh, he's defensive. He's defensive. But I had this argument with someone who was going, but we don't want, we've got attacking players. Yeah, so what do you want? Do you want to win or not? <laughs> and he was going, no, uh, uh, yeah, but it got to the point where he was going, and it's someone you know as well, and he was going, I would just rather see. The players like play attacking football. Out and I was going, what, over winning the World Cup? Out him. 
Nah, he doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't deserve the spotlight. Oh, okay. He'll know who he is when he watches this. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, and he was just arguing to the point of ridiculousness. So whatever we, whatever we say, they might go against it. Everyone's principles go out the window when it comes to winning. Everyone takes winning over anything else. Everyone would prefer a style of play. Everyone would prefer... Yeah, but, but the, people were, the people were shouting, Mourinho is a bad fit for England. I think it'd be great. How? How would he... Uh, like, that's, yeah, I'm asking them, like, how, why? Because he doesn't play your kind of style of football, but he wins shit everywhere he goes. Do you, do you not want to win? But I suppose. Like, what, when did it become not good enough to win? You have to win with style? I don't know. Or what people perceive as style? Or you have... Very solid crisp. Waistcoat. Marks and Spencers. Cut that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it in. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, we're not allowed to swear. Did you know that? Yeah. But shit. Flip it. Right. Back. So just, we've been warned, we aren't allowed to say <laughs> any of them. Time stamp. So we've got to get through it without saying any of them today. Right, alright. I'm going to fuck we're going to do that. Um, more reaction on Klopp. Who replaces him? I think Jabby Alonso, currently, top of the Bundesliga, I think they might oh, be beaten as well. it stinks of that, doesn't it? Of such an obvious choice. It stinks of that. Like, what's, what's great about this is he was obviously the best player that Liverpool had in that era as well. And now he could come back and be the best. Why are you laughing? I'm not, just carry on. Can't bother with it. Can't bother today to argue these points. Is he really good? He was a good player. If you he want to a, say he was a, the best. He was a brilliant player. Okay, if you want to say he was the best of that era. In then, midfield, for okay, sure. That's yeah. fine. Maybe even any position. Do they, people, have, a, do they have a player people, in a position that was better than him? People that follow <laughs> this know what you're talking about, and we're just going to leave it with that. Not fine. Because being ridiculous. But, and then he's gone and been, been a manager, which I don't think anyone in that era of Liverpool has gone and done. Certainly not successfully. And um, top of the Bundesliga, undefeated. Flying. Flying. That, Flying. that kind of makes so much sense if he just... I'd love it if he pay him because I'm really enjoying watching him at the moment. And then you know that I can't do that if he goes to Liverpool. Uh, I've just got to think he's a prick. So, I'm, I'm really enjoying what he's doing. But did they just go straight back in the mix and go, last time we got someone that was doing a bit with an unfancy team in Bundesliga, it worked out all right for us. Let's get Jabby Alonso in. And it's, he's the next player. It's absolutely going to be him. If it's not, I'll be gobsmacked. Well, who's the options? You've got Jabby Alonso. He's got to be the, he's got to be the favourite, surely. 100%. Is Jose on that list? Well, I was gonna, that's what I was going to say. But that's... It's, I don't know. I just think it's it. Whoever goes in, like Jose has got the, the the cojones to deal with that situation because it's go, it's tough, isn't it? Obviously, we, we've seen that with you lot. When someone's so big, and he's been so integral to everything they've done recently, that, how do you go and do you try and be like him? Well, do you switch it up? The whole backroom staff has gone. Pep Linders and some analysts and other people. So it's like. Jürgen and his boys. That means they've got another job lined up. Hundred percent. Never that. If the whole team go, there's, there's another job already. Because when in the Fergie bank. went, he was like, "Keep them," and then Moyes went, "I don't want to keep them. I'd rather lose." So. Yeah, he fucked up. You just got to look at what that model and go. Let's do everything different because that has. It's still not recovered. <laughs> Deserve so. it. Did he get anyone else from the Prem? It's so risky, though. I think he's such a risk. I think he's brilliant at where he's at now. There's so much more to manage when you go from like a Brighton to a Liverpool yeah. than just the team. Yeah. So I don't know. But what I, I, I obviously had a quick look coming in, and I was I was so spun out. That's what I said to you. It's like one one Premier League. Yeah. You, the way I, I just assumed it was more without checking. Well, you you see the way when. I'm going to bring him up multiple times on this podcast, unfortunately. But you see the way when Steven Gerrard retired, he was like, oh, he's a legend. He's won none. Mm -mm. So this is actually won one. At least I give him his flowers for that. He's won one. No. All right, it took till June. And there had to be a rule change. And, it, you know, and, and it was in the middle of COVID. But he did win one. OK, first, let me address the point of you don't have to, like, win a Premier League to be a, a, like a Premier League legend. When you're in the first two or three inductees into the Hall of Fame, I respectfully disagree. OK, we could disagree on that. I just think that you don't have... Like, there's been so many players that have got medals that are shit. That's true. So... The when you're doing your Hall of Fame inductees, surely the first Who lot picks should... that, by the way? Elmets, by the look of it. 
Okay, cool. Um, uh, what was the second point of it? Fuck knows. It was ages ago as well. Not a lot of swear. Mm. Well, there's going to be swears, isn't it? So. <laughs> Whatever. Um, Shall we, so, so we've, we've agreed. Alonso is in. I hope not, but it's Klopp's got to be the number to one. the German national team. Done. Do you think that's, I think that's the obvious one. The Euros is in four or five months. And he's took all his boys with him. Yeah. He's up and he's, fu- and he's got off. <laughs> <laughs> took his grey jumper and he said, I'm, I'm done with it. Yeah. I can't keep doing it again and again and again. And he basically went, I just can't be bothered anymore. That is in a roundabout way. Klopp. I want the title of this show to be Klopp can't be asked, Because <laughs> that's basically, like, you know, like, if you get asked to do something and you go around the bush trying to explain, and you just go, oh, I can't be asked to do it. Especially because he does, like, a full reasons. aerobic session. He is, like, Peloton 101 out the front just, like, cheerleading, isn't he? Like, yeah. Sit down. Do me in your dick. He's very animated. I feel like he's a little bit marmite. There's been so many times where he's just annoyed me. I actually can be really so enjoyed Frank Lampard going, what are you doing, you melon? <laughs> but when they had that one where you could hear him arguing as well. Yeah. And do you like Lampard? Yeah. I think I asked you this last week in your... I mean... I'm just surprised when you say He's a like shit him. manager, obviously. But I think he's all right. All right. Is that a lot because you know him on a personal level? I don't really... Did you like him before player. you met him? As a player? Just as anything. Because you don't... It doesn't matter, like, you don't like people for anything. <laughs> Playing wise or just as people? Yeah, that was a good. I thought it was a really good player. Why so, is he leaving? Cloptions. Like it said Klopsons. that weren't from you, was it? Genius, wasn't it? No, Obviously weren't from you. From me. Cloptions. Cloptions. Why is he leaving? Then I didn't say. Where's he going? Done it. <sighs> Done it. Done it. Who's Ruben Amarim? You wrote that. Now I know that you hundred percent wrote that because no one else in this room knows who Ruben Amarim is. Go on. I'm just waiting for you to Google him. That's the hipster choice at the moment. A what? Because he looks cool on the side? No. Look at his record. <clears throat> Why have you put that? It's not going to be him, is it? It should be. He should be one of the ones that's getting in the mix. That, this, that's where people are going to start looking. Because he's, he's, been, he's been at Casa Pia for a year. Braga B team. Braga for a year and Sporting for four years coming up. I'm in the mix then if you put in Ruben Amarin in. Free hat in. Well, I will do. <clears throat> I'm sure that'll go down well with them, won't it? You want to talk about people's heads going? Uh, depends who. Because <laughs> you had a road trip planned, didn't you? Did you? Did you have it planned out? No, I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> Shot. Uh, United, Newport. I was covering it. No, I'm not. That's all I can say on the matter. Oh, okay, fine. Um, score prediction? Should be like just, six I just, it? it should be. Yeah. And if it's not, it's a ball. It's ache. like, just oh, right now, I'm like, for everyone's sake, just apart from Newport fans, just win the game. Scrape through on a 1 0. 2-1. I think we've got to have a good performance. But I don't know. There's about 80 places between us. It's away as well. I just... You played there? Uh, I might never have played there, actually. Which is weird. No, I would have played there at some point back in the day. Um, Stop, Paul. Can't be sticky for you. It shouldn't be, should it? And we've got, bar Luke Shaw, I think everybody back. Not necessarily all match for you. Yeah, I'm not Tony. Like I said, everybody's back. He's done his groin, apparently. Ow. Well, it must have been on the pissing school run, mustn't it? Because he's not Getting doing anything else. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's gone. Uh, he when you get... kick the door open sometimes. Do it's it's t- you know what's bad? Is like, he actually seems pretty cool, and, and I don't like just always digging people right. out. But My like, nana's cool, he... but she shouldn't be centre forward for yeah, United. It's, I can't. I've got no argument for him. Like, I've got no... I can't say anything about him. Score prediction, I'm going... I don't think it'll be that big a score. I think 4-0. 4-0. But do you know what? They, they so play you're going to concede at least one. They play What's happening two? with your goalie, by the way? It's going to be Bayender, isn't it? Isn't it? Bayender. It's got to be. Same or Tom Eaton. And I'm all right with either, to be honest. All right. Um, 
the tricky part is that they do play a, a two up front, and United, because of what we usually face in the Premier League, usually just up against one striker, aren't we? This is mad. Are you starting to already do a disclaimer if it goes? No, it's not a disclaimer, sit, so. but. I think it's going to make it tactically interesting because they're going to low block, right? They're not going to do anything other than low block. But if they've got two good forwards, if they leave them two good forwards against Varane and Martinez, 1v1, don't matter how much you paid, pace is pace, isn't it? 2-1. 3-2. Two, 3-1. One. Three, two. Three, one. You think we're going to score? I'm going to end it on 3-1 to, to United. I think whoever we bring in, just because it's annoying, will end up keeping a clean sheet and then everyone will be like, well, why don't we put... Tommy and I'll buy and in for the next month. But are you not keeping a clean sheet? Rodney Parade, one's going to bobble in or something. Windy. Typical FA Cup. It'll, be, it'll just be harder than it needs to be. Was you ever involved in a shock on the good or bad side in the FA Cup? Um, Stockport must have had some decent runs in the Cup. Mm, they had a good one the year before I saw and they played Everton, never at Stockport. Um, never lose to a, like a like a step nine or out? Nah, not like, oh, we, we lost to some nine. teams like in the championship a, a couple of years. But nothing that was, mm, nothing that I can remember that was like, jumps to mind where it was big like that. Like big three, gap. four leagues. Yeah, and I never beat a team. Uh, going that, the other way either. They were playing one that was that much disparity. Stop, surely uh, Stockport. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to think of this. Uh, of, no, I'm trying to think. Of, no, Stockport, we never, we never were like... Not even played down? No. The Swansea, we had some... We had a couple... Uh, we had a replay one time. That went, one went to... I didn't play. So I didn't play against someone who was in like League Two. We was probably in the Prem. And then, like, rested... And then you're seeing it, a draw, like, oh no, it was far as well. I can't remember. I can't remember the game. It was, I don't know, it was far. And we ended up winning this, the replay, like, in the last minute or something as well. I can't remember who it was. It was just a horrible, horrible trip. These are the ones you just get down, win it, get out of there. Score early in it, because if it gets to, like, yeah. the 70th minute at nil nil, the fans start believing, yeah. the opposition start believing, yeah. and then... Someone shins one in and you just got to get out of there. At this point, you just got to get out of there. I am actually working there this well on Monday. We're covering Wrexham against Blackburn at Wrexham at Blackburn, which I think will be quite a good game, actually. Blackburn League One at the minute. No champ. I think champ. They're doing well, I think. They're doing well. I'm Wrexham are doing well. But See, people have uh, started seeing their arse a little bit with Wrexham because of the Hollywood connection. Do I think, or do, have I seen? I've seen, I've seen, I have seen people sort of like just what was in the first season of the documentary, like quite a positive thing. As always, I think there's probably a lot of jealousy in there. Is this from people outside of Wrexham? Yeah, yeah, I think Wrexham are enjoying it. Yeah, but I think for Wrexham in this game, if you're if you're you are what you say you are, and you're going where you say you're going, you you you've got a fancy. You're, this isn't as big a gap as the places would suggest. No, I think when you're looking at, I mean, you've played in literally all of these levels, so you, there's no one better place to say. Okay, than Blackburn you. not doing that well. Um, just for the record. But like the difference between you know, mid-table League Four. Two to mid-table Championship, it's not steps, is it? It's you know, but also so much you've got to put in there, like form. Yeah. Such a big thing. So you can have a team in League Two like Wrexham doing really well. A team in the Championship that are just low on confidence, not really doing that well, and that then evens it right up. Straight away. Do Blackburn feel they're in a position to like rest players? Because they need to be <laughs> Surely not. Well, exactly. But you don't know. And then Wrexham, I've got to be thinking, we're, we're paying... It'd be interesting to see what the, the salaries... Like, who's... Do you know what I mean? What's the, uh, what's the gap in salary overall of the squad? Because I'm sure it's not that different. I think there's more levels within the Premier League than there is from the Championship to League Two. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Which is nuts, isn't it, when you think yeah, about yeah. it? Yeah. 72 teams are probably closer in ability and levels yeah. than, yeah. than groups of six would be. Yeah, yeah. Within the definitely. Prem. I agree with that, yeah. But, yeah, but it's just much of a muchness, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my Monday. I might try and go for 10 games next week. <laughs> right, you're loving your shit out. There's there people in the, in the comment section going, you can do 10 in a week. I've done 10. No, you haven't. 
Yeah, man. We've done 10 games of champ, man. <laughs> That's it. We've done 10 games. Um, Carabao Cup. What about it? I've won it. You before. have won it? I think it's called someone else, I can't remember. Right At enough. the time, wasn't Worthington, was it? No, not. Is that old? I should know this. No, Jesus Christ. Wait, what was pause, it pause, pause. What is it? It would have been 2012. Don't you dare Google it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know what it's called, man. What's wrong with memory? So bad. I is this like? Is this why they've brought in like concussion protocols for this yeah. reason? I'm fine. I'm the one going. I don't need concussion protocols. It's fine. We used to get it in the head all the time. Can't remember what the thing was called. Is to, um, why? I remember one of the earlier sponsors of it. Rumble O's Cup, obviously. Coca Cola Cup was good. Capital for us. One, obviously. Capital One. Yeah. It was a Carling Cup for a minute. Yeah, it was that was the best one? I think. I think yeah. That was the, I, sometimes I reckon I can still call it that. Right now. My earliest memory of it is the, being the Rumble O's Cup. That was the when was that? So that was a long time. That was nine ninety one. And uh, I didn't get to go to the Rumblows Cup final. Brian McClare scored. I went for lunch with Brian McClare yesterday. Weirdly. Segway. That's real weird. Um, Random. Did you enjoy it? I had beans on toast. No, the, um, what? Where? At Rangil. Okay. So, do you remember Club Call? Before, yeah. Before Twitter, there was an 0898. No, but number. wasn't it someone's sponsor? That's what I remember it. Like Middlesbrough or someone, right. maybe. Yeah. It was like an 0898 number, which meant it was like a quid to ring it. Um, wowzers. Um, so obviously, I've always wanted to know what, what's going on with United. So when I found out, there's a number you can ring, and it's, it's just an answering machine, isn't it? Is the latest news at United, and it's probably a little old bollocks. Andre Kinchelsky is linked with Sparta. So, what? So you just ring it and listen? Yeah. That was, do you not remember? Never heard of it. Anyway, I racked up a phone bill of eighty-eight pound in nineteen ninety-one. Um, For what? Just phoning club call. And listening? Mm. When I was about, what, eight? Seven, eight? So... That's weird. My dad sold my um, <laughs> Rumble Oaks Cup final ticket. No, he didn't. Because of that? No, as punishment? Yeah. Didn't go. Got the programme the next day. Did he go? Yeah, he went on his own. No way. <laughs> <laughs> See, that generation, was, that generation was so much better, weren't it? They parented <laughs> way better than us. We would never do that because we feel sorry for the child and whatever. Well, this is this is nineteen ninety one as well. So we had the FA Cup the year before, which I wasn't going watching football then. So this was the first final of me being old enough to watch football. He didn't know we was about to hit on the nineties where we was going to be at Wembley like every other week. Like that might have been the last final that we ever yeah, got to. Yeah, he didn't care. Yeah, he didn't that's care. Ruthless. Yeah, ruthless. You've well, you've skipped over a topic. Why? Oh. Um, I like Dean Alden. So Dean Alden, was he our first guest or our first official one or only yeah. one? The only one we've ever had, probably? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we had last couple, but you didn't turn up. Oh, yeah. Um, and he has, has got a job. Yeah, he's got a job. Well done, Dean. In Saudi Arabia. With Stephen Gerrard. That is good. I, I like it. I'm, I bet you do. I like the where it all falls into place. The fact that you talk waffle about Gerrard every week, which is like untrue shit. Not untrue. Dean's your mate. He's a, he's a friend of ours and he's gone to work with him and it's a great job for him and you've got to, I don't know like you've got to suck it up a little bit just the fact that your mate's there with him he's a good coach as well by the way he won't be doing that the what I've seen Stevie doing when he first went but <laughs> well, you know what come come here you've got to come to it come here <laughs> get up uh, so yeah so well done Dean Alden I feel like we to be honest he should probably like Thank us at least, because <laughs> when it's what the the weird thing is when he came on the show, obviously he was he was trying to sell himself, and so that must mean Stephen Gerrard watches the show. Well, he's probably we can call fucking, that factual. He's probably in the tags of the show every week, so. But you won't leave him alone. Probably just think, oh, this Steve fella just leave me alone. I didn't say I was the best. <laughs> Maybe he thinks that. Maybe, maybe I think he agrees. I was a club legend. Maybe, maybe he does. Maybe, maybe he, he thinks Lucas Leiva was better than him. No one thinks Lucas Leiva was better than him. Well, that's how ridiculous you are, you are sometimes. No, it's not. Jabby Alonso was better than him, though. All right, well, we're there again. Player and coach. We're there again. Like Michael Carrick. Um, but what I will say is Stephen Gerrard's obviously got a skill in appointing assistants because he got Michael Beale involved, who was mega. I think that's his, like, niche skill set. 
But look what happened. Michael Beale leaves him. He absolutely tosses it off at Aston Villa. He's doing the same here at El, whoever he's at is. And if the results turn around now, because of Dino. He knows a good assistant. And maybe that's the... Maybe hey, that's but the, he's just signed a new contract himself, Stephen Gerrard, yeah? Uh, Henderson left and he signed one. And it was... I felt like it was really weird. No one I, spoke I about it. Weird. Because he's... Well, his record at the time is dog Terrible. Shit. And he hadn't won in Not how long. Well. Yeah. And then I've like, seen him. I've seen him on the way out in my head. Need. I was like, he's on the way out. And then the, he just got a new deal, like a two-year deal. Or so something. what have they done? Have they just promised him? We'll no one spoke everyone? about it either. I just no. found it was all, all of that was all a bit weird. Yeah. So just he gets a new account. deal for what? And then he brings these. got to keep him there, I think. Big name. There was all rumours coming out that people aren't players he got, aren't happy What there. players has he got there? Oh, I don't know. He's got... Um, money. Has he got... Has he got money? Wijnaldum, maybe? <laughs> what are you asking me for? You should know. I'm asking the cheap seats. You just like you're over that side. Go that lad from Everton, Gray. Damari Gray. Moussa Dembele. What? There's a part of his name for you. No, you're... You're about someone else. He's got a player called Jack Hendry, so... Oh, you wanted okay. to know that. Um, do you know that we asked for emails and stuff last week? And letters? Did you get any? We, got, we did get some. But there's, there's, there's a book coming. There's one for you to read it. Can I read it? Just read it as you read it. Don't read it first. Is it safe, though? Yeah. Because it's been vetted. Okay. Dear Steve Nash, I'm struggling in my place of work. I'm supposed to be the HR manager, but nobody listens to me. I know who this is. <laughs> There's constant swearing and name calling. Even these two tools that film in our office show a distinct lack of professionalism. How do I make it stop? My head's gone. Yours truly, Dej. Who's sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> is he the HR manager? It's under his remit, I guess. Might have a bit on his hands most weeks, I think. Pause. But. <laughs> So are we are we gonna are we supposed to help him with that? I don't know how we can help him with it. That's the whole point though. Someone writes in and then we help them. Yeah, so if their red's okay. gone, we will help. Okay. Well or we'll take the piss, one of the two. Constant swearing. I think that can be Suck it up. No. Pause. Pause. And no. <laughs> For starters, he can as the HR manager, he can start to stamp his authority a little bit more. Because he's a HR manager. So it's his job to do that. So when he hears the swearing, I think he's got to be a bit more vocal and stop that. Mm. And name calling, that's not all right in the place of work. What name calling? Aggressive tones like that as well. <laughs> Even these call? two tools that yeah. film in our office. How about glass houses? <laughs> Who's going about me and you? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> I thought he was going about some of these. Even these two tools. Distinct, how? That's bollocks, that, isn't it? Yeah, don't, write, don't write to us if you want. Yeah, listen, if you want to... You Cry actually me a fucking want to write river, in for us, then it's headsgonepod at gmail.com and we will either help you or take the piss out of you. No promises which ones. Um, but there, there was some stuff sent. A lot of people sent octopus-related stuff, but... Get them away from me. Serious. Um... We got sent another They're not near me. That's weird. It's a weird shout out. Because there's no octopus. There is that one back there. That needs to go away. But I, I went and seen octopuses on, on Sunday. Where? An aquarium or something? Yeah, I went to Blue Planet Aquarium. By the way, Kim well dear. You've done it in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just me a clip. You, that just subs you up. Yeah, carry on. But it was boring, weren't it? Be honest. As an adult. Once you've done one of them, it's this, they're all the same. Do you know what? It's not even fish. Spiders and that. Snakes, lizards. Well, that's all right, isn't it? You're getting more for your money. They've get rid of fish. Did, did, they got Nemo what, and Did you Dory enjoy the octopuses? What did you think of them when you looked seeing them? Well, it was trying to get into this See? little cage thing. Like, not even a cage. What was it? It was like a plastic thing of nightmares, mate, they are. They are freaky. Real. I, because I started Googling them, 
You see how many people have got them as like pets, just little fellas, like, like that big. Should we get one? No. What, Should we what? have an Edsgon fish tank? Not with that. Right I just won't come in here. With I'll, octopus. Pause. I won't be in this place. <laughs> I won't be in the. I, I wouldn't come in here. If, if someone shouted like, down, there's an octopus loose. I'll be out of this so fast. <laughs> I, I didn't realise it until last week that I have a, a genuine but like, fear of Like a little one, right? Just bang it in a tank here, because I can just imagine how I funny that is. I, I don't want. Just in the middle of the show. It's got out. I don't. I don't. <laughs> no, I can't go. Ah, imagine it like, oh, it's up your trouser or something. <laughs> no, I'm not, I've got no place in my life, the octopus. Anyway, someone did send us this. Um, what was the name? Who was the person that sent us this? What is this? I'm going to stop talking now. I'll no. Say to the that are going to be is this uh, esports? It's the what? Spreadsheet championship. <laughs> what? Jesus. That's a bit like me and you, that. Isn't it? What do they do? <laughs> Why have you just skipped forward? When you're entering there, that has a plan. Use the flash fill feature to it. But what did it? Is it like how quick they didn't do it? Right. My God, what are you doing? This is Oz the Slay who hates all artificial intelligence. No, but something like this, you. Name range. Why is someone saying? They've got comment. They've got commentary on this. He's trying to solve this to everything, and this should theoretically sort of launch into a thousand points and get him all the answers. Uh, Timestamp. This is the biggest load of fucking bollocks I've ever seen in my fucking life. There's that. that is it called a sport? It says sport on it. It shouldn't have that on it on there. XL Esports. What's going on? Finals. Right. Wait. Hang on. There's a crowd. Come on down. Yeah, but I think they. It's one of them where they give you a ticket and they give you something with it, like a free like you get a cheeseburger and a coke. To come and watch this Andrew, you are nonsense. Be in seat number one, a little bit about Andrew. He has been working with Excel for 14 years. After four years, felt that he. Uh, My head's going watching this. New bar when he had to replace the ribbon bar. What they? Why are they? They've there? got a championship belt. People didn't like it. Now people are like. Who found this, by the way? Interesting fact. This Look at this fella. Not only an avid Pokemon Go player, but. Oh, he's a Pokemon Go player, obviously. Yeah, obviously. In the Financial Times. Let's see somebody beat that. Representing Australia, one more big hand for the Annihilator. <laughs> nah. I think this is a piss take. What's your, what's your it's a parody, Excel this. spreadsheet fighter? It's got to be the organizer or something, hasn't it? The alphabeticalizer. Come on down here. <laughs> Stop it. Look at this little... Look. What is he doing? You ever kissed a girl, son? Peter has spent 16 years working on Excel. I don't mean to be, like, really disrespectful, but what the fuck? <laughs> what, what, you've got to consider your, your, your life, where you're at, if you're doing this. They've got shirts, though. Like, they've got, like, match shirts. Do you want to tell you something? What, Wild, if, if, if that email landed on, in my email and went, do you want to present it, I'd probably take the gig. Like that fella's done there. Where is it? That's there. Yeah. Is it somewhere hot? Do you know where it is? A million percent. And then, I don't know this, but uh, no, I was going to say like Slough. <laughs> Why Lovely. would it be in Slough? It's got to be somewhere. Is it in Las, Las Vegas? Vegas, obviously. What is that? That's that's re that's really hard. The, the the what contestants, participants, winners, champions. Those people can't go to Las Vegas. They will die. That's far too much excitement. They just if you're enter a stuff into professional fucking things. Excel spreadsheet player, what the fuck? That's the worst sport. Don't even, I can't even call it that. Uh, anyway, that makes dancing horses and all the other stuff we looked look, at last look week look religion. amazing. Uh, apparently, well, that clips the 1.6 million views. I don't know if it's people just looking at it like us going, Yeah, what's that going 100. On no one's watched it. Anyway, headsgonepod at gmail.com. Send us the rest of the weird sports that you find in. A gladiator. Dun, dun, dun. Have you been watching it? Yeah. I got one that's coming to my house to visit me tomorrow. Yes. Which one is he on that on that photo? Bang in the middle, steel. Bang in the middle. A light. At the top. Oh, well, there, down. One down. Yeah. Got some tits on him. Yeah, he's doing Christ. a high rocks tomorrow. 
morning in Manchester. Oh, that's quite popular that now, isn't it? It's yeah, it's, mate, it, yeah it's, got, it's gone popular. And it's obviously hard, like it's hard work. And, and they went, I'm just doing, because obviously you can't do CrossFit. Now he's doing gladiators. And he said... Um, Wait, why? Because CrossFit's like you have to, you're training like multiple times a day to well, try and Harrox get... Harrox is just CrossFit. No, it's like, a, no, because it's not as, like, CrossFit, you have to be, like, he oh, has to... Oh, you the CrossFit Games? Yeah, the game. So he's not, he's going to do CrossFit, but he's not competing and trying to compete in the games or whatever. So he's like, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do some high rocks as, like, training. I was like, people train for the high rocks, and you're just going to just do some for, to keep fit. What's his gladiator name? Steel. Steel. So have you watched it? Have you watched the two episodes? I've seen social media clips of it and stuff, but I haven't actually watched an episode. Why? Why? Should I, should why I, is it worth my time to watch? Why it? that's crap is because you 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 knew on Monday we was talking about gladiators. Where's the prep? So you can watch ten games in a week. You can't just watch like an episode of Give gladiators. Give me a reason to watch it. Is Jet back on it? No. Marching well, on. Jet is probably about seventy-seven years old now. But she's still banging though. <laughs> So, actually, watching it with the kids, and I've, I've enjoyed both episodes, both weeks. Wait. But I do, I've got... Mm. Is what? she even on that? Who? Yeah. Well, at the top. You've got to remember, there was loads of Is different eras of gladiators. She don't look all that on there. How many can you name off there? Off the top one? Yeah. Wolf. Yeah. He's on the left. Um, See, that's the one with Rhino, isn't it? So you haven't got Shadow. So, is that Rhino in the middle? Yeah. And then is it Hunter on the left? No, no above. There. Yeah. Um, oh, what's he called then on the left? Because he was pretty Warrior. good. Warrior. Is it Warrior? Yeah. He was pretty good. Him. Yes. Was he one that was like a bit nice, but uh, battier? Uh, yeah. And what made me laugh is like he, he was definitely juiced up off his tits. 100%. Shadow might have been my favourite because he had that stare which would make you shit your pants, didn't he? Because he was like a. Yeah, yeah. And there's a story with Shadow because <clears throat> I, I, when, I, when I watched this, I then, for some reason, Googled Shadow or YouTube, and, the, and he's, oh, this might be slanderous, but I'm pretty sure he's been to prison for something. He's been on podcasts talking about his life, and I didn't bother to click on him. But <laughs> if you, if you want to know, you, it is out there for you. There's a story of Shadow. This one is just super, super family-friendly. Is it? Mm. Um, I guess the... Was it John Fashnu and Eureka Kakaka Johnson? Yeah, Mark Flatberg's the, the ref of, on it. But the first one was a bit family friendly, wasn't it? It was at like six o'clock on a Saturday. Yeah, but then I think they made one in like somewhere in the middle that no one watched that went a bit more aggressive and people didn't like it. My mate was on that one. Yeah, and it was shit. No one watched it, did they? That one. I, if my mate was on it, I didn't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one, do you know what? If I, if you're not watching it with with your kids, this one, I think mm, not sure. But when you the kids like enjoy it, I think. If I put this on with Blake. She's gonna puge or stick the shit out of me. Yeah. We ain't got anything I don't that's think, that soft. I'm not sure that the gladiators, uh, I bear in mind that I'm, I'm, I think my mate's a good gladiator that I've seen. Is he a nice guy? Is he? Some, yeah, real they, they, nice. They've got guy. a wolf character this time round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably ain't gonna end up meeting this guy, but this is, how, is this how you feel when you just hammer people like Stephen Jarrett? Just anyway, own it. He's a, he's a bell. Right. Who? He's a, the, the wolf character is just Who annoying. Is Which one is he? I don't know what his name is. His name's, I think it's Viper. So he's like bottom left there, see him. I've probably got a better friend than him. Yeah, that fella. If they do celebrity gladiators, you win. Do they do that? I don't know, I'm just throwing I it reckon I'd, oh, I'd have a go at that one, yeah. Who, who else are you putting in there? Can't have many more footballers, I want to know what you are. Give me like a roster of five or six. I don't know any celebrities. Um, I can't have, and no football players. Or no male ones, at least. Um, uh, contestants, yeah. or are we gladiators? You pitch it, me. Ah, oh, well, um, don't know. Who 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 would be good? Rob uh, Robbie from Arsenal fan TV. Uh, what? Reffing it, commentating it. I'm gonna. Because I'm if if you're playing <laughs> if you're play, if, if the game's uh, what's it called? No comment. You're like one smash of the poodle stick, whatever it's called, then he's off. And injured when he fell, when he hit the thing. Go on, who's your... Give me contestants. You're a contestant. Who are you going in with? Um, <clears throat> Have you got a travelator on this one? Yeah. Good. That, that's, that's actually funny, because they can't get up it. 
I don't know why they can't get off it because it doesn't seem difficult at all. Sounds like a challenge, Ashley. Well, it's not hard, is it, to get up the travel I've got to be honest. I don't think the gladiators have got to grips with what they're doing yet. Because <laughs> like, they're not. Was as... the hamster ball thing? I haven't seen that. Was my no, favorite thing, that was a good one. Well, I forgot about that. That was my favourite. That and the pugilist. Well, I've not seen that <clears> one. Um, you got the rings. They always have the rings. Yeah, they had the rings. And like that, the gladiators were, were didn't. They, I think they got across, everyone got across maybe bar one. So all three got across. And it's like the gladiators haven't. So you know, like the gauntlet where they've got the stick and then they've got the pat. They're, they're just breezing. They're getting through in like three seconds. See, you need to put me in that, and no one's getting past. I don't think they know how to use the weaponry yet good enough. But there's, there's, there's some big old units in there. Like, there's one called Giant, and I can't see him on it. Oh, he's, he's like there. He's like to Zach's right, so our left. Can you see him? Yeah. He's massive. I think he's 6'6". Six, six. And then there's some of us that you just go, no. Where have they got them all from? Are they all just I don't like know. Maybe types? from the fitness world, yeah, I think. Because isn't there, um, that Matt does fitness, he's on that, isn't he? Is he, is he one of them? Legends, he's like, um, I think, is he the bad guy as well? He's another bad guy, I think. Yeah, he's playing, he's the pantomime villain as well as the little Viper fella. Why didn't they get, like, Wolf? Oh, what was the other chick called with the dark hair that was pretty good as well? She was mega on the rings. Uh, Scorpion or something like that? Yeah, that rings a bell. Why have they not got past Gladiators to host it? Why is Mark Clattenberg involved? And who's hosting it? Platts is a ref. Uh, Bradley Walsh and his son. Why? I don't know. I don't tell me you dislike Bradley Walsh. Well, I Everyone don't. Everyone likes Bradley Walsh, man. But, like, you've had heritage of gladiators. I better not fucking rammed out with work. Let's fucking bring them back. True. Because at least they can go, I remember doing something like this when I was a gladiator. This was really hard, or, you know, the, the contestants struggle with this one, but we practice it a lot as... Insight, Ashley. I just think Bradley Walsh is just so he's just so friendly on the TV, and he does his little dad jokes, and then every, the crowd laugh and they enjoy it. But he's, I think it's his son, the two of them, which is a bit of a weird dynamic, isn't it? Mm. All right, I'll watch it. I promise. He's you. very like um, I was thinking about the way he, he does it, and he's very. Where did they film it? Was it any scene? You know what, on it? No, it's in Sheffield in that, that arena. What's that one called? I don't know. But you know when you do the. Piss take intro. He that, does it for reals. That's that's just him. I think that's how he is 24-7, Bradley Walsh. That's how he orders like food at the shop or whatever. Show me. It is, really. Uh, so we, if Bradley Walsh was intro in today's show, he'd say, um, welcome back, guys, to Heads Gone and breaking news. And then he'd bust a dad joke. Crowd do a fake laugh. <laughs> Jurgen Klopp is, is leaving at the end of the season. Like, I feel it's, really uncomfortable. It's, yeah, no, but, well, that's what I mean. That's why I don't do that. It's just got a bit more enthusiasm than most. I hope when he gets home, he's like Jack D. <laughs> remember him? <laughs> Jack D? Do I remember him? He's my spirit animal. Are you mad? <clears throat> Bradley Walsh, you, you can't dislike him. Bradley Walsh does it with his son. Um, and I think it's not a bad... It's not terrible. I'm enjoying some of the stuff. I think it's a good watch. I'll watch it again with a gladiator this week. Is Clattenburg got shorts and socks on? Nah. Has he done the pants and the footlocker? No, the footlocker, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But he's not as good as the... Like, I like Mark Clattenburg. I used to get on well with him, but he's not as good as that old... The other guy. John Anderson. Yeah, John Anderson. What was his background, by the way? Can we I get the know. cheap seats to Google? Janine, pull that shit up. John Anderson, gladiator, referee. Are you ready? The coach at for the Commonwealth Games and Olympic athlete. What, prior to becoming in the Gladiators? Oh, there you go. He did some shit then, before. Mm. But he was just good at doing that, really, weren't he? Top voice for it. Shouting. Right? Perfect. Shouting at them. Uh, yeah, so it just, it's, not, it's not the worst. Mm. I don't think it's as bad as the other one. I think we can, we're just going to grow into it. I think some Gladiators are going to be annoying and some of you'll like. I would give it a watch, if I was you. Okay. I think I'm going <clears> to <throat> watch the whole season. I will give it a watch. It's like on iPlayer, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to watch it then. Um, what would your gladiator name be? The geezer off Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. What was it? The, the Annihilator or Annihilator, something? Annihilator, yeah. 
Wow. What would my gladiator name be? Red Bull. Moody cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Moody cunt, are you ready? <laughs> what would it be? Dark Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what mine would be. People who call themselves, they call themselves off the weather, don't they? What about Mild Breeze? <laughs> <laughs> just so close to your face. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fuck I no. feel like the names on the first one were better. These ones are a bit naff. Yeah, but you got they, steel. They took the obviously right, the, the I'll best have ones. Aluminium, then. Like, what the hell's that supposed to be? Apollo Athena, bionic. Boo! Getting boring. Um, all right. So, what's your name? Ash. Nice. Uh, have you seen? <laughs> The new Roadhouse trailer. I've seen the, the new Roadhouse trailer. You sent it me. I didn't. Janine did. Yeah. But I think you... I don't know. Uh, yeah. But then I learnt from Janine that it was... It's, it's a remake. Because I was like, what's the... This looks like a... No, I oh, just... Don't... It, if, if everyone else in the world knows that Roadhouse was a film, I apologise. Right, wait. How many people got? One, two, three, four. Dej didn't. Seven. 100. And Eve didn't at the end either. What, you knew about it before? See? R right. Ronnie, did you know that there was a Roadhouse film before this Roadhouse? Roadhouse? See? Right. What's J Roadhouse? Jaden, did you? Yeah, you knew Roadhouse. Janine obviously did. Only because of Family Guy. What? Only because of Family Guy. Yeah, so that's how it's known. Did you not know either? Declan. So, proven, right. Anyway, so, this is a good apart trailer. Apart from the people who've lived in my house, no one knew about it. <laughs> Pricks. And you made out to me like I was missing out on Star Wars. You are! I'm not. But no. this looks good, I have to say. I, I think look, this is genuinely, right up my street. Genuinely, this. genuinely. So we, our microphones died before and Ash started telling the story about we had nothing to do all day one day. When that next happens... Just ring us. We will drop whatever we're doing. We will put that telly on, those cameras on, and we will watch Roadhouse and get your reaction to it because Roadhouse couldn't... Basically, it's the 80s distilled into one 90-minute segment, right? We've got monster trucks. We've got Patrick Swayze. We've got cheesy bad guys. We've got, like, well, high I've school heard bully of this. type things. You've got the shittest, most horrendous one-liners, such as... Pain don't hurt. It's so cheesy. It's amazing. I have heard of this film, but I think you were talking about it once. Maybe not a lot of people have seen it. I'm going to put that what? there. Right. Commenters, if you've seen Roadhouse, or the original... Or even ever heard of it before, of it, before Jake Gyllenhaal did it. Please get in the comments. So, yeah, so, so Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor have done a remake, which I think how, is out. How is Conor March. McGregor going to be? I feel like he's been acting for so long, it's got, he just plays himself, surely, and that's it. Well, yeah, it's the Jason Statham mood. Yeah, which is, I think, is... That's where he goes next, Conor McGregor. Just do films. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm all over that. What have we, what so, have, what, what, what was you, did you like the trailer? I like the trailer, yeah, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch the film, definitely. I don't think it's that, it doesn't seem that deep. I don't really have to pay attention. It's something that I'll be watching a little bit and then... Yeah. Make a brew and I come back and he bad someone and yeah, it's oh. not um, it's not it's not M Night Shyamalan. It's not one where you need to like sort of keep notes and track and like there's five different storylines going on at once. M Night Shyamalan. M Night Shyamalan. Come on, man. Shyamalan. <sighs> Shyamalan. Anyway, Roadhouse. The trailer came out yesterday. Anyone knows M Night Shyamalan? Director of. Loads oh, of films famous for <laughs> little twists at the end. M what the, AKA that? The Sixth Sense. Tell me the, the name again. M. Night Shyamalan. Where's the first name stop? Don't know, because it's is it like... M or is it M. Like, Night? It's like or F. Scott Fitzgerald. <laughs> What's your middle name? <laughs> Errol. Right, so it'd be like, instead of you being called Ash Williams, you just start telling people, I'd like to be known as A. Errol Williams, please. Yeah, M. What was it again? The first guy? Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan. So it's M. Full stop. Night, as in like the fellas with the sticks. And so his name's M. I don't know. I've never heard of what's this M. guy. What's M. Night Shyamalan's name? <laughs> that ain't it. Is that the guy? No. What's his actual name? Though? <laughs> Go on his Wikipedia. It'll tell you what. He's... Is this I... the guy we're talking about? Yes. 
Right. Is it is it, mul so, is it a multi syllable let's syllable have a, name? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you what M Night Shyamalan's real name is. Ooh. M Manoj. This is why he calls himself M Night. It's Manoj. Manon. Nelly Yatu. Right. Oh, we're not bad. But no, I've never heard of this fella either. What's this? Oh, he did Split. He's got some good films. Obviously, he's twisted then. He's not well in the head. Signs. <laughs> yeah, because the person... I've said this all along. Right, so if I'm if I'm like... So we just found out that the guy that you don't know the name of is your favourite director. Who knows directors? <laughs> Who knows directors? Listen, I reckon I would go and watch a film for a director more than an actor. Listen, I've been saying for years... If I'm like MI5 or something, I'm keeping an eye on people like M. Night Shyamalan. Because for you to dream up Split, Glass, you know Signs, The Village, The Visit, The Watchers, like, you're not well. And then to put it into a film, you're twi... Like, who, who directed Saw? Because that guy needs to be watched. Who, who thought that sick shit? Do you know what I mean? Don't then, watch me. Stop then watching who me. Then who and watch them. commissioned another what nine of them or whatever? Yeah, was. like I don't know because I did. People do like enjoy watching it, but it's more of just how do you come up with this? M Night Shyamalan's got a lot of films. Never heard of him. Thanks. Where are we at anyway? Roadhouse. So we're going to watch that. I don't mind that type of film. I'm all for it. What have you been watching recently? Started the kitchen. Have you seen that? What? It's got Ian Wright in. What? It's got Kano in and Ian Wright on Netflix. I started watching it and I'm enjoying the start. Is it a, like a reality thing? Or is no, it's, it's just a film like set in the future. Ian Wright's in a film in set in the film. future? Yeah, bizarre, isn't it? I'd seen it and it was like, that's weird. That's Wright's voice. Kano's on there. And I've got to say, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of like the, that, that, that type of film. Although I watch it. But I'm really enjoying this. I'm only about 30 minutes in. Ian Wright's acting. But is it good acting? Or is yeah, it... it's all right, but he plays... He kind of plays himself again, if that makes sense. Like, when you If you know... Well, not, I feel like everyone probably feels like they know Ian Wright. Do you know what I mean? There isn't a side to him. But he's just... You, you're like, oh, that's righty. And he's, and he's being, like, he's righty. He's got a quite integral part in the film. Really? Keno's the lead. That, that's gone so under the radar. I, don't, I was... I was, like... Well, I was like, what's happening? I'm going to put it on because there's right, he's in a film on Netflix. <laughs> like, and it's new, it's brand new. Just come out, I think, like, maybe two weeks ago or something. It was last week. That's why he's off match of the day, he's going to be an actor. No, oh, good for him, I hope he does. What would you do? What if I was Ian Wright? If you could be an actor, I'd be on match of the day. I think you could have some fun being an actor, you know? I think it'd be good, yeah. Especially when you do... Although, I bet, when you're... Just some of the films that you think are absolutely mega, there's a lot of CGI in films, isn't there? So when you see the finished product, you go, oh, wow, I bet that was a laugh to make, and like, yeah, it was mostly in, in, like, a warehouse. Yeah. On my own. And it took ages. Yeah, it was about 18 months. It is literally like any time <clears> I've ever done a campaign or something, and I'm there for six hours, and, they, and then it's all for a 30-second social like, clip. how the hell was that 30 seconds? It's like Match of the Day. I don't know how many... Do you think... Does everyone know Match of the Day Studio is just a massive green room? Well, they do now. <laughs> I think that people know that. And um, so, so it's just one... Match of the Day is not that weird. It's the other shows. Football Focus. Yeah, because it's the same green room, by the way. So you just... Do you know what I mean? You're always in the same... Yeah, is, the, is it a different table? There's a couple... Of, yeah, they have there's some different tables. There's a Match of the Day table, there's a final score table, and then Football Focus is now not... There isn't a table. Um, but that changes, but it's... But obviously, even that, like, you're going to say, it's a long... You're doing 13 hours to get out short 40-second clips of what you're saying. A few of them. Four, four times, four, five, six times you'll speak. Long day. And you're out. So I guess that's like a film, isn't it? I just couldn't be, but I couldn't be asked to like <clears throat> change body shape and all that. Like get fat, or oh, get skinny. Like you mean um, like Christopher, um, Christian Bale does? Because he got yeah. bonkers with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a got, lot of them do it. He got like really unhealthily skinny for for one film, didn't he? Then he got absolutely jacked for Batman. That's what I mean. Like, I couldn't be bothered to do that. 
Because if someone was saying, get, like, be unhealthy, like, I'm not saying I'm really healthy, but, like, someone was saying, you can't train anymore and you've just got to starve yourself, I'd be like, nah. Or vice versa, you're just playing a fat cunt person. <laughs> and <laughs> playing a fat guy and um, you've got to eat loads. I'd be like, I can't eat anymore. So I couldn't bother with that. Um, but it would be good, yeah. You see, there was a personal trainer ages ago in America, going to America, Australia, a couple of years ago, two, three years ago. Whatever the story is, it's definitely going to be one of two countries. I could have guessed that anyway. Um, where he was like, fat people just, just, is what you need to do to lose weight. And to prove it, I'm going to get turbo fat, and then I'm just going to lose it. And then he got turbo fat, couldn't lose it. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Serves him right, doesn't it? Why well, could he not lose it? Uh, I don't know. I think he he got his like hormones got affected and like yeah, there's more than just laziness why people put a bit of timber on. What have we got up on here now? Oh, so we got some comments from you lot last week. So do you want to start reading some? Well, why is why, why are we talking about that again? All right, so he don't want to talk about it, but I'll I'll talk about it. Koto Paxi says. I'd have loved to have seen how Ash rocketing the ball into RVP's head would have gone down with VAR. It would have went down the same as it did from the ref that saw it at the time and decided to give me a yellow card, yeah, Michael Oliver. He saw it, he went, oh, I see what happened there. Yeah, it just it was what it was, yellow card, no big deal. Unlisted it, Lizard, 95, 98. Mad names. Isn't there if an alien free? Does that mean free? If there isn't an alien Freight. Then why does the US military have a space force that is funded almost a trillion a year? Oh, threat. I think it means threat. Freight. Freight. What the fuck does that mean? Freight. Freight. I thought it meant fleet. Maybe it's a typo. But um, I think it means threat. Fuck knows. Uh, yeah, space force. I mean, isn't it? Yeah. What's the crap with space force? Oh, it's obvious. Unlisted lizard. We're past the possibility of aliens. Everybody knows some form of some shit. It's some fuckery or fuck. That. What you said. LT. LT6796 says, Ash, mate, you've clocked it. Octopuses are aliens, 100%. Look at the aliens on The Simpsons, and when have they ever missed... What, what's, what's the thing with Simpsons and Aliens? Uh, octop- no, I know the Simpsons and the predictions, but what's the... What, oct- Have you not seen them? They're the like... S- aliens are like a... Spe- they're like a... Oh, they're, oh they've, they're calling that they're, they're aliens. Well, they're octopuses. The Simpsons aliens look a little bit like octopuses. Ah. Oh. But they've only yeah. got two arms, haven't they? And, the, and exactly, yeah, I'm with that person, because when have, when have they ever been wrong? To be fair, haven't they done... Their I mean, how many episodes of The Simpsons is there? A lot, but what are you going to say? Don't be a knob. That they've just covered every no, possible they topic? They've got some stuff real close, real, like, similar. All right, maybe we'll do the Sim- what The Simpsons got right next week. Yeah. All right. Um, Rana1561 says, wait till Ash gets to know about the stuff Japan does with tentacles. Roll VT. What? Nah. I don't want to... This really is a family film. show. No, I'm not watching that. Legs, and I've loved them since I was little, so when I found out that there's this I'm not watching that. Whoa, that sells I'm not watching legs, that. I had to try it. What, what, what is that? And then dip it into the sweet, savory sauce called pate and then put it back onto the grill. Then they repeat the same thing one more time to give it that extra kick of flavor, and then it's ready to eat. I thought I ordered one, but they gave me two oh, instead, so wow. let's give it a try. Just as expected, it's so delicious, but also very messy, so I had to tie up my Should hair. Should tie and, her oh my God, back The outside was super crispy and inside so chewy. Oh, I feel physically sick, and I can never unsee that. (laughs) What is that? No, you lot fucked up for sending that shit in, man. Um, and we've got. Have you seen this? How many animals are eating every year? Huh? Have you seen this? How many animals are eating every year? From what? By people. Check this out. It's pretty crazy. What do you mean? How many animals are eating? So, 50,000 turtles, eh? 83,000 well, crocodiles. Well, pause the video, please. Who needs to see it, Chin? Pause it. Wait, this is it, incorrect. Keep it. Where's, okay, where's the... Where, I, I need this fact checked. 
Okay, but don't look at me. I'll just show you the video. Okay, what well, can we get footage like the last one? Five million the Snoop horse Dogg's. comment. Was well, he Snoop Dogg? <laughs> Snoop Dogg posted it. Okay, sorry, well, no, I got caught up on the urchin and all that. Right, five million horses. Ten million cats. What's a tapir? Is that a fish? Yeah. Snails, fifteen no. million. That's that's a lot. That. Wait, pause. Who's eating twenty-five million dogs? Who's eating 25 million dogs? Play. <laughs> okay. 60 million pigeons. Who eats one of them? It's disgusting. 70 million guinea pigs. Who's eating guinea pigs? Uh. 100 million sharks. Jesus Christ. Wait, pause. Right. This graph's going to keep going. There can't be any... F What's after cow? Chickens. 300 million... Yeah, but like 300... It goes a lot higher. 300 million cows feels like not enough. It's a lot of cows, that. Why are you laughing? 300 million. Right, wait till you see where this goes. Okay, Because 300 them. million, when there's other stuff in, ahead of the cows, this feels like... Let's go then. I don't know why he's wetting himself. Like, because lamb's 500 million. I thought there'd be more cows. Lobster, 500 million. Turkeys, 600 million. Wait, wait, Salmon, wait. 700 million. Tuna, 900 million. Like, what? Rabbits? No. Nah. Pause. 1.2 billion rabbits get eaten a year. More than cows. Now I see you, what you're saying about the cow situation. The cow one feels a lot low because I would have thought chicken, cows and pigs, they're your Champions League qualifiers, man. They're, they're up way in ahead and then everyone else is fighting for life. But, we, but, we're, but we're suggesting because the cows are so big. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm no, assuming but I'm saying we all are, the rest of us. You, get well, a lot more you didn't see it because you were talking, but we all communicated non-verbally. 1.5 billion pigs. I don't know if this how no. Pause. Since, I was just about to say how un inaccurate this is, and there you go. Two billion octopus, Ashley. Imagine all them outside your house. All two billion. Imagine Ghost how much octopuses. you would fucking vomit if you ate that octopus tentacle in teriyaki sauce or whatever it oh, was. Oh, we got more to go here. So oyster too. That, maybe that's just a small. Disgusting. G two. Wait, stop. Uh, geese. G geese and duck combined. Five billion. Nah. Who's eating them? Shrimp. No, they're small, so. Crap animal. Is it even an animal? Crustacean. Sardines, 14 million. <laughs> 75 billion chickens. 205 million chickens a day. That's a lot of chicken. It's a lot of wings. I've got so much to on this, dog. It's just not going to make the cut, so there's no, no. point. Roll it and see, no. what, see what sticks. No, I don't know. I'm more baffled by the sea urchin. Because they're spiky and horrible, aren't they? What if you boil it? I'm going to do my own bit of research now. Okay. What do you mean if you boil it? How would you catch Like, you catch it and then... Catch it in a net, I imagine. Not with your hand. Well, this just fizzled out, didn't it? We got a fucking ending. All this preparation and nothing to wrap it up on. Well, get this video up on your screen. It's Nick D. Giovanni as well. Okay. <gasps> we'll share with the group. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Because what? <laughs> There's something in the sea urchin that they eat, like they take out a. A, 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 whoa, yeah. I don't know. If Wait, how big are they? I yeah. thought they were that big. What's this look? It's like the size of a, that's no, the size what's of a this football look? man. Uh, what's, this, what's this now look? Brother, what is, it, what is that? And what are they? What are you doing? And who is he, by the way? Don't make it fancy by smearing some shizzle over it. What's that? What have you just took out there? Spleen? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Someone let us know what, what is the bit out of a, a sea urchin that right. you eat. No, it was his bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> it's sea urchin cock and balls, man! What a fucking twist. That's how you ended up there. Anyway. Oh! <gasps> Redo! I ain't even reading that.
That's full pause. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Who would have guessed that? No I legit way, didn't no way know that. Someone was... typed why out... is the bollocks? Why are it, why are a sea urchin's bollocks long? <laughs> They're not even round. Why has someone written this and wrote the words creamy and custody? Well, I don't know. No. Anyway, where are we I'm, going? I don't think we're going show? home after this because there's no way we My can. Head, I've got we can't continue. I got a fucking headache. That's it, absolutely. We started with Jurgen Klopp, ended up eating a fucking sea urchin's bollocks. <laughs> And you expect me not to swear on this. <laughs> what? There is no other show on the internet where you get creamy and custody, sea urchin cock and balls, and Jurgen Klopp. Good night.